Today I'd like to talk a little bit about colors, properties, attributes. Over the years of teaching, I've seen a lot of people get confused as to why when they apply an attribute, it doesn't necessarily take. So I want to resolve some of these questions by talking about how attributes and how colors are affected and how they affect the part. So as I look at my tree, you'll notice that I have a solid body and then I have the volume underneath it. If I right mouse click on top of this and I go into properties, you'll notice that I have a fill color. This fill color is for the actual body, what it's going to look like. If I go to the pull down and I come in and say I want it to be blue for instance and I select OK, you'll notice at this time it did not take. And the reason why it did not take is because you have the body, this is almost like a layer or a collector, and then you have the volume data underneath it. This volume data is, if I look at that, a different color than the main body. So if I change the volume data, you'll see that it is now taken the color of the property, but not of the main body. If I want this to match the main body, I can right mouse click here, go down to the part object and say reset properties. Now you'll notice that this is assuming the properties of the main body. So it's very important you're paying attention to what and where you are doing. If I come in here, say define and work object, and I go into start, let me go into part design. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a quick pad on this face. All right, let me go in the X direction. Let me reverse it. Doesn't like it? Okay, that's fine. I'll just keep it that way. Select OK. Now you'll see the pad has assumed those properties. If I right mouse click on properties and I go in here and I say on the actual feature I want that feature to be white, you'll notice that feature that doesn't have any shared faces, here it has a shared face, it assumes the main body properties. Here it doesn't have a, sh a shared face, you can see the face gets pulled, apart, pulled away, assumes the properties that I have given just that specific feature. So a feature can have a, 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 a property, the volume can have the property, the body can have the property. And again, if you're getting this model that has all these whacked out colors and you want everything to be one constant color, you can just simply go into the actual body itself, right mouse click and say reset properties, and then here you want to say apply to children. So everything that is a child at this point including other bodies that have been booleaned in, that have been added or united, subtracted, removed in, will also be affected. I say OK. So I've reset the properties completely. Now I can come in here, go into properties, and then apply whatever color it is I want. And you'll notice that all of them have the same color. I'm going to do the same with geometrical sets. Let me hide this and let me show this. You'll notice here I have some surfaces. If I look at this, you'll see these surfaces, all individual independent surfaces. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in here, I'm going to right mouse click on the surface, go into properties, and I'm going to change the color of just the surface. If I go into the properties of the geometrical set, here, you'll notice that all of the surfaces except for that one assume that color. Now I'm just going to undo this. And I'm going to go to the geometrical set up above. I'll go into properties and I'm going to change this color. You'll notice that these now assume this color. So in this case, if I have two or three or four or ten geometrical sets deep, the geometrical set that has the property set at the top in this case is going to affect everything down below it unless I am specific. Like in this case I specifically made that surface, that color. If I go into the properties on this geo set you'll see that it is assumed that color and I can go and change that as I see fit. Now if I change some of these surfaces 
change geometrical set to the original or the upper geometrical set, you'll see that now that surface assumes those properties. Something else that can, can be confusing for people is if I right mouse click over the surface in the window versus over the surface in the tree. If I right mouse click over the surface in the window and I go into properties, you'll notice here all I have is graphic. This is telling me that I'm just changing the face of the surface. So if I look at this, you'll see current selection is the face surface two geometrical set three. So that means if I change the color here, I'm changing the property of the face, not the property of the entire surface. It's just one singular face. It's almost like painting that face. If I go to the surface in the tree, and go into properties, you'll notice, you'll notice it says current selection is surface two, not face, but surface. So this is telling you I'm changing the entire color of the surface. And you'll notice that I have these other tabs in here because now I'm affecting the entire surface. So it's important to note what you are selecting, where you are selecting. When I'm going into the properties of something, I'm always going into the actual tree to change those properties, unless I want to be very specific and change the face off of a surface. So for instance, if I come in here now, and let me go into geometrical or generative shape design. I'm just going to simply join. Wants to give me some guff. That's fine. Whoops. So now I've joined it. That join is inside of this geometrical set, not this one, so it assumes those colors. Now, if I right mouse click on that face and I go into properties, and change the color. You'll notice that it is just that face. If I did that on top of the join and change those properties, you'll see it is the rest of those surfaces. Again, I've changed the color of this face. Like I said, it's almost like painting just that face of the surface. The surface is the original color. It's like a piece of sheet metal. The sheet metal has a color, and I've just applied a paint coating to it.